Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another grocery haul. Today is going to be a combination of Aldi, majority Aldi actually, and a few bits from Tesco. Um, literally, the time used to map from Tesco because I didn't go that long ago um, to pick up a few little bits and bobs. So, I'm just going to get started. It's pretty... Um, it's a pretty decent shop, this one. It's kind of reflective of what we would get in our big shops to last us like 10 days, something like that. And at the end, I'll let you know how much we spent in each supermarket. As soon as I'm on my own today, I'm packing all of this. Um, I thought I would just unpack each bag one at a time, get everything out and show you guys what I have. Um, so it's not going to be in a coherent order like it normally is where I do meat separately and things like that But considering this is my foil lined bag I know it will have stuff in that normally goes in the fridge So the first thing I have is some coconut yogurt. This is the fat free one. I really like it I have one pack of bacon although I'm pretty sure I have picked up two I also have two trays of lamb mints because tonight I'm making lamb kebabs and I need these and also my Turkish pizza requires this and I thought for freezing that would be great for a midweek supper. I also have some Cumberland sausages here, some chicken thighs boneless without the skin. I use these to make the kids popcorn chicken. Speaking of chicken, I also have some diced chicken breast fillets, some chicken legs that I use for spinach, curries, things like that. This is just um, with the skin on and obviously it has the bone as well. I have a tray of mints, beef mints. I actually have two of those. Um, I also have some cocktail sausages. Layla really likes these. Some mini breast fillets that I use for marinating, things like that. I have some parma ham. I don't actually get this that often, but I thought there's a recipe that I wanted to make with this today for a what I eating day, so I picked up some of that, along with some unsmoked pancetta. This is ideal for pizza toppings and things like that. It's really delicious. You can stick these in a ragu sauce as well. Really nice. I have another tray of mini breast fillets. Of course you guys know on WW, it's a zero hero. So I always have lots of that in my trolley. I have a sirloin steak. I know I always say this, but if you guys have not tried the steaks from Aldi, you really need to. They're just as good as any other supermarket, M&S. In fact, I think they're better. So. The next thing I also have is some cod loin fillets. I've started crumbing my own fish and my own chicken just because I like to. I think there's a lot more flavour and it just feels a lot nicer and tastes a lot better as well. So I got two cod loins as well. And then the last thing in this bag is my lighter creme fraiche, which I always use for my cheese and onion pie filling. Okay, this is my next foil bag. So again, I suspect um, things that I wanted to keep fresh with fun in here. So I have my garlic bread. I actually get two types of this. I get this one, and I also get for myself the reduced fat. To be quite honest with you, I can't taste the difference, and neither can the kids and Andrew. So yeah, this one's 50% um, less fat, which is great. I also have some fish fingers here. Some mashed potatoes. Again, I always pick this up on the odd occasion where I need to have mash and I don't have my potato peeler handy. I have my four cheese tortellini. These are for Andrew. I don't eat these guys and it's the Quicksters. He loves them. I'm sure they taste delicious but give me a homemade burger any day of the week. Uh, another pack of bacon. I mentioned I did pick up two. I also have my grated mature cheddar. This is the lighter version. This is just super handy for when I'm making a cheese and onion pie because the quantity is exactly what I need for my recipe and also it's it's been grated which is great for me. Sometimes when I have pastries to do and things like that, it's handy just to take a shortcut. I have another mash here. Again, great shortcut for mashed potatoes. And then finally in this bag, we have some mature um, full fat cheddar cheese for the kids. So this is a mega heavy one. This is where a lot of fruit and veg comes in. The first thing I have is a watermelon. I love watermelon. Shockingly, I'm the only person in my household of the four of us that eats it, which I think is crazy. But I picked up one of those because that one felt particularly lovely. I also have some potatoes here, which is boring, but a necessity. And um, we have the flat mushrooms. These are ideal, again, with steak. I always mention that, but I do love them. I have some unsalted butter because I'm whipping up some buttercream because this week is Harrison's birthday and I'm making birthday cupcakes for him to send in for his class. So we also have two baking potatoes. We have three red, not red, sorry, three brown onions. I also have my wonky raspberries. I pick these up every single time. We have some British vine tomatoes as well. These look delicious, actually. I'm very much looking forward to having those. Oh, and my cherries. I've not had cherries since last year. I have some grapes for Layla school. I have baby spinach. I literally cannot have a food shop without picking up some kind of spinach. Red onion here as well. I like both types. I have some lemons here. 
I also have some loose peppers. I have a yellowy orange one, which I thought was actually really pretty. Um, and I also have a red one. Um, I have these jazz apples, which look delicious actually. And um, these are for Layla's lunchbox, but um, they look really tasty. I have one on my walk today. I also have an eggplant or an aubergine. I also have some ginger here, some fresh coriander. Um, I have some pears. Now, we don't eat pears, but um, we use them in a lot of marinades. For example, my Korean chicken, so I always pick up pears. I also have my blueberries here that I have for my porridge toppings and for snacking on. And finally, I have some limes. All right, so next bag, I have some juices. I have some apple juice here. I also have the smooth orange juice. I have some chocolate milk for Layla. We have two cartons of the lactose-free milk, which is what Andrew and I have. We have some tuna here. I get these in the packets now because it's plastic-free, those ones, which is great. I also have some baking soda, um, some passata. I have a few cartons of that, I think. This must be one in another bag. I have a full-fat milk for the children as well. also have this comfort this was in the special buys this is something that I normally pick up from Tesco when I go there but I was stoked to see it in Aldi um, it's about the same price it wasn't on offer or anything but um, it's handy that I didn't have to get that from there another lactose free milk another apple juice as well and then the last thing in this bag I have some custard because Harrison is obsessed with custard he really likes it with chocolate cake or cookies like that is the juice and milk and fabrics off the bag. So this is kind of the miscellaneous bag. When you get to that point when everyone's staring at you and you're just throwing stuff into your trolley and you have no idea what's what. So it's gonna be pretty mixed. Um, I have some brioche muffins here. I also have 12 large free range eggs. I have some self-raising flour, some icing sugar. I actually picked up two boxes of those because again, I'm making Harrison's birthday cake and birthday cupcakes for him to take it to school. I have some North stock cubes. This is the beef stock cube. I picked up this sourdough bread, which I haven't tried from Aldi before, but it looks delicious. I think that with my butternut squash soup is gonna be mega, so I picked up one of those. I also have toothpaste here, just some Colgate, um, some digestive biscuits, two flatbreads to go in the freezer. I also have this Nesquik cereal for Layla. I got this in the special buy section. It's basically Nesquik, but in um, the alphabet, and she loves it. She loves regular Nesquik. Um, I used to love it as a kid. I don't eat it now, but um, she really enjoys it. And another carton of passata. We're on to the last bag from Aldi now. Again, this is pretty miscellaneous. I have some plain flour that I use for my pizzas. I have another carton of custard. I have some chopped tomatoes. I have one, two, three tins of those. We also have three jars of this uh, pasta, ready-made pasta sauce, which again is super handy. I have two of the mascarpone and tomato, and I picked up one of the, actually no, two of the um, grilled pepper and tomato. These are really delicious. Again, they're super ideal, whereas if you just want a quick sauce. I also picked up this chutney, which I haven't actually used before, but I'm very much looking forward to it. And this is the tomato and chili classic chutney um, from Aldi. Again, looks delicious. Can't wait to try that. I have some tomato puree, um, some stock parts. This is the chicken. I got the beef ones that you saw earlier as well. I have some whole grain mustard, some Parmesan cheese, some breakfast hot dogs, some mild curry powder, and some all-purpose seasoning as well, which is one of my favorite spices to have in the kitchen because it just goes so well with everything, as the name would suggest. So that is all the stuff that I got from Aldi. So I'm gonna put this in the cupboard and I'll show you the stuff that I got from Tesco. So as I mentioned, we didn't get much from Tesco, but I thought I would show you anyway. The first thing I got is some laundry detergent. This is the Method one. We absolutely love it. It's the Wild Lavender scent and it's massive. It's 39 washes. It just smells so great, guys. I absolutely love it. It's a plant-based um, company as well. Um, so it's great when you can make little switches and do what you can. Although I do appreciate this is quite pricey. Um, but it was actually on offer. Um, normally it's £9, but I got it for £4.50. But I have bought it full price and I really do like it. So, you know, I, I like the peony one as well. We also have some shallots here. So 
I use these really frequently and I find them really nice and sweet. So I do like to have shallots in from time to time. I have some mayonnaise, some steak seasoning, some cumin seeds for a recipe for tonight, some curry powder, which I'd already picked up. I don't know why I picked up two of those, but I will always use it. I have an extra large butternut squash because I'm going to batch cook some soup which is great. I also have some cartons for Layla's lunches. We have the apple, the orange flavour and another apple. Two packs of the stock pots, not stock pots sorry, the baked bean snack pots. Um, normally I do get these from Aldi but they only had the um, reduced salt and sugar ones which I just like the regular ones to be honest so I got two of those and then finally I have some quavers as well. In Aldi I spent a grand total of £115.25 which I think considering how much meat I got um, veg, fruit, juices, staples for the cupboard. Uh, you can't really complain or go wrong there to be honest. I got a fabric softener as well. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to give it a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new to see more grocery hauls from me and of course to see a lot of this food in action in my What I Eat In A Days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.